Well, that wasn't a bad sleep. Uh, you know, once the uh, partying on the boat stopped anyway. Um, yeah, no, I slept fine. The weather's, weather's perfect. I'm going to take this stuff down and then portage this lock. Alright, so there's my kayak loaded up on the kayak rack. Uh, it's hilly here, so the wheels will be nice. Uh, I just used the tie-down straps that I used to put the boat on the roof with through the cart, and I like to do it just behind my cockpit, and then I put a piece of webbing. This is uh, a my, uh, my Wheelies seating. brand uh, kayak cart. I bought okay. it at uh, Mountain cart. Equipment Co-op uh, for about... Uh, it was about a uh, hundred dollars Canadian, uh, maybe just a little bit more than that. Uh, it's come in really handy. Uh, I use it. Uh, I use it sometimes if I have to park a long way from the water on day trips. But where it really comes in handy is for portaging on uh, longer trips, like like this Rideau Canal. The canal's not open yet, so uh, I couldn't lock through with the boats, and it's it's much faster to portage anyway. Um, so uh, it, it fits in the uh, back compartment of my sea kayak. Okay, so here we are sailing out through the channel towards uh, Newborough Lake. Newborough Lake. Actually, I was mistaken. We're not heading out onto Newborough Lake. We're heading out onto Indian Lake. Uh, Newborough Lake is actually two lakes after that. There's Clear Lake, then uh, Newborough Lake. So I'm going to head out onto Indian Lake and I'm going to check out a couple of these small islands, I think. Wind conditions were very nice. They were kind of a. Uh, just strong enough that I could sail with a little bit of paddling. Uh, it was it was really easy day to get around on the water with the kayak sail up. There are so many of these little un uninhabited islands that uh, I can't think of any reason you wouldn't camp on them. The only thing is there's there's lots of poison ivy in the area, so you just got to watch the ground cover, but. That, that looks like a nice little place to set up a hammock tent right there. Hammock tent, maybe a little campfire on that little island. Even this decent sized island on the right appears not to have any cottages or homes on it. That's uh, probably a couple acres. All right, well, I wanted to do a bit more exploring this morning, but thunderstorms are forecast for noon. But my spidey senses are telling me they might come a little bit earlier than that. Uh, it's only nine now, or just shortly after nine, so I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring, but watch for the thunderstorms. Just cruising along the shoreline here, you know, I was checking out uh, cottages and uh, you know boats and uh, there were other kayakers out that I waved to and just uh, yeah, just relaxing yeah <clears throat> that weather up there looks a little bit like thunderstorms to me too bad that's a pretty shoreline some nice rocks this will be the uh, cut to Benson Lake I'm just gonna go over there and check out those rocks it's too early to stop paddling. I, I don't have far to go if I gotta, you know, get off the water. All right, so I just figured out that this whole big area is an island, actually. This is Cot Island. Um, it's big. I'm gonna check out this cove, see if there's anywhere I can land. Take a little explore on foot. As fortune had it, I was able to land my kayak on a little point of land in the cove and I set up my alcohol stove and I made some green tea and I ate a couple of cookies and I just watched the dragonflies buzzing over the top of the lily pads. Beautiful. Yeah, this is a proper Canadian Shield cove in here. All the lilies up there.
I spent another half hour or so just paddling close to the shoreline and checking it out. But uh, this cloud started to look a little bit more threatening, so I uh, decided it was time to, to get to somewhere else. So <clears throat> I'm kind of sailing upwind here, close reach. Uh, that's as high as I need to go because that's where my destination is. It's always nice when you can sail upwind. <clears throat> In the interest of uh, expedience, I uh, cut straight across the lake. Uh, it was maybe two or three miles across this lake, but there was uh, there was a pretty decent wind blowing. Uh, I was I was sailing just upwind. I would say that uh, my speed was probably about four knots paddle sailing. Uh, so it didn't take me uh, a long time to get across the lake. Uh, maybe a half hour or 40 minutes. Uh, uh, time on the open water before I got back into the islands on the other side. Once into the uh, back into the islands on the other side of the lake, uh, there was a little bit less wind, so I did have to do a bit more paddling, but uh, the wind was still pretty decent. Uh, I, I had a good day uh, of getting around on the water. Uh, lots of lots of assist from the wind. I think I had my sail up the whole day. Um, and then uh, once uh, once through the islands, I got back into the, uh, the river and to a campsite. Well, I think this will be it for, for this film. Uh, I'm going to go somewhere and get hunkered down for the thunderstorms. And uh, that's all the battery my camera has. So I guess that's uh, kayaking. Uh, the Rideau Lakes, uh, Lake Opinicon, uh, Sand Lake, um, Indian Lake, and I poked my head into Benson Lake there. And that's all. All right, thanks.